What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live, and today we're going to be doing a reaction to one of my favorite vocalists in the entire world. This is Dimash. This song is The Love of Tired Swans. I will say this, music videos do often get blocked on YouTube for some reason for me from Dimash. Live performances do not, but their music videos have had them blocked quite a few times. So if that ever does happen, please know that I am trying to post it on YouTube, but we do always post them on Patreon if they're blocked on here. And I'm also going to be doing a live performance reaction to this song as soon as this drops on YouTube. So there will be a live performance reaction on our Patreon and there's a link in the description below. And in saying that, I absolutely love Dimash. I cannot wait to see what this music video holds for us. So if y'all are new to my channel, please smash that sub button and let's do this. Three, two, one, boom! His videos are always like movies and I am so excited to see what this is. Is that a human head? Okay. Already very interesting. Really quick, I have to say this. That tone is actually what's at the starting of all the Dimash guides that we've been watching, and I love those guides. They're so well done. So now we know where that actually comes from officially. That's awesome. Посмотри не в глаза, ты прости мне. Я сожалею, я люблю тебя. Жизнь моя без тепла. Я тобой болею, удержать. The way that he just portrayed those lines, like he put emotion into what he said right there, the first line of this song was very sorrow-filled. It just had a lot of sadness in it. And then whenever he said, I love you, you can hear his voice shift just enough to really make it a happy reminiscent thing, like he's saying that, and it, you can hear a, like the love in his voice. Dimash is a great vocalist for a lot of reasons, but one main reason that I love him as a vocalist is because he really puts you into the emotion, and it's cool to hear the contrast from the first two lines mm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool looking. Не могу жить в разлуке лебеди. Подожди, не спеши. Не говори, что чувство позади. Нет назад пути. Не могу жить в разлуке So clean. His voice live. I've heard this song, I think, at the Stranger concert, and I believe he might have even sang this at the New York 
concert that we watched his voice in those low parts live i don't know why but it like it sounds like he almost even goes a little bit lower there live it just sounds a lot more bassy live and i was thinking that but then whenever he went high here it sounds even clearer here i don't know i'm really liking the contrast and how he changes things subtly live as opposed to how he does them in recordings but this is really interesting Was so strong there. This is a wild video. <laughs> that is wild. note that he hits right there is like right i don't even know it's it's on the cusp of a whistle note i would say maybe he has such a good way of delivering emotion through his voice and it comes through with everything and especially in that part right there knowing what this song is about he does such a good job of capturing the intention of the lyrics this is so beautiful <laughs> so clean right there Goes solo again. What an epic music video that was. Like, he is pure emotion in his music, I think. And I think it's awesome to know, like, learning more about him as an actual person outside of his music. It's so cool to know that he's like a normal person, a normal dude. He's capable of so much with his voice, with his songs, with his music video. He is an artist completely. And that was amazing. I think that video right there just kind of showed even more of that. I have heard that twice now in uh, two concerts that we've reacted to on our Patreon. And... To be honest with you, it's one of my favorite songs of his. I think it shows off his voice in a very drastic and different way than like SOS or something like that. If you started somebody on this, I think it takes like there's a lot more things that are actually going here. It builds into a lot of that stuff that where SOS kind of like starts you in it. This, it takes a while to build there, but once it gets there, the payoff of this song is so good. The emotion that's behind it, like everything in this song, I love this song. So whenever I've heard this live a few times, it's stuck with me, man. And then this music video.
video is it's kind of a jarring music video but it's really cool and i think he's done that with every music video i've seen of his i absolutely love dimash as an artist i think he's an amazing person and i thank you guys for supporting my channel and supporting me checking out the more of him because i think he's such an awesome person i hope you guys are having a blessed day or night whatever time it is you're watching this spread some positivity out there be kind to each other and if anybody needs anything at all all of my socials are at john reeves i send me a message and i'll catch y'all next time freaking toodles